Joe knew personally. And I just realized my camera is like way too high up. Like right now, if you're looking at the video, the camera is way, way too high up on the shot. So it's like there's a lot of dead space above me and Nigel's heads. But uh, before I fix this angle, in all seriousness, um, I mean, such a tragic loss in the in the realm of hip hop, uh, fashion, uh, just general American innovative culture, uh, uh, art. You know, I mean, it's just you look, you know, and it's another one of those cases of a person who. And I'm not sure many of these uh, of many of these cases, but it's another case of a brother who who, you know, is diagnosed with a terminal disease and uh, took it on the chin, took it and said, you know what? I'm not going to let this be my legacy. I'm not going to let this be what people know me by. I'm not going to let this stain the mark that I've planned and set out to leave on this world and. That I did set out on this to that I did leave on this world. So, just just such an inspiration we lost with Virgil Abloh. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace, Virgil Abloh, man. That 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 shit was a tough one to see in the morning. You know, uh, the man really did inspire many, and he was there for a lot of come ups in the beginning, man. I, I saw a lot of posts from coming from Uzi down to fucking athletes like LeBron and James Harden, Kevin Durant, just just a whole bunch of just people, man, throughout all different worlds and spheres. That man was definitely an icon, man, you know, and he first, uh, he was uh, the first uh, artistic creative developer, something for Louis Vuitton, like, he, you know, he was just a trendsetter, man. One on one human being, and rest in peace, Virgil Abloh. I mean, the man was a he had to be a tough motherfucker, man. The dude, uh, the dude had the dude had a terminal illness and didn't tell anyone, just kind of kept it pushing, man. Kept his dream going, and uh, like he said, man, he didn't let that define his legacy. And uh, you got to just respect and salute a man that can do that and just live out his dreams to the fullest. So yeah man salute and rp virgil abloh i'm surprised we didn't touch on this on saturday do we know on saturday no we had not known yet oh, okay yeah. no but yeah man rp virgil abloh man that shit was some tough ass news to see man yes it was oh no. but that the man was inspiration to all so honestly I don't know, man. He he did a lot for the gen he did a lot for this generation and he did a lot for like the up for artists that were up and coming and artists that were like coming up. Like he, he just he just helped a lot of people, man. Throughout the culture. And when I mean the culture, I mean the hip hop culture. Like the dude the dude was special, man. So yeah, man, R. P. Virgil Abloh. What you get into now, man? Yeah. It's such a bummer. It really is such a uh, hurting, painful topic. I had a post up on my Instagram that had uh, some words from Virgil when he did a speech in... I believe it was actually Harvard. They had some sort of art or design school or something like that. And they allowed this man to just freely speak for like, I think over an hour, a little less than under an hour and a half. And the way Virgil articulated the drive and passion and uh, process, the way he described how it is to be creative it really spoke to me i mean it re i tried very hard when i uh initially heard that speech back maybe uh when i was like 19 
So this will be 2018. Um, and I think that's about around when it came out. But yeah, I tried really hard to like sort of mimic my mind and sort of tune into the frequency that he was at. Because it's like, you know, there's this interesting thing where it's like, you have podcasts, you have music, you have a person's works, you have their canvases, if they're a painter, you have their, uh, you know, etc. You have food, if they're a cook, you have the buildings, if they're an architect. And from the marks that a person leaves on earth, you think that you can gather almost how they think you can you, you that you can almost recreate it that you can tap in in this in this modern world i feel like and and, and you know g just roll with me here but i feel like we're so privileged with all this information and you know just at the touch of a button knowing everything i really was convinced that I could tune into the frequency that Virgil was on, but no matter how many times, and I watched that that uh that Harvard um speech many times over, but no matter how many times I would watch it over, I almost always felt inadequate, and uh, I don't think that that would be the intentional uh, effect of the article, but. Anyway, some people are just on a on a different level. And for us layman's here, still trying to figure out what path of life, what race we're trying to race in this damn race. I mean, what race of all the races we're trying to race in the path, I should say. Um, you know, it's you just you just look at those unicorns like that like Jesus Christ, like it's just they just I don't know. How can one person be the head of multiple companies, still innovating, helping people with personal projects, you know, creating on the side different companies for themselves. It's just like, oh god. Anyway. Yeah. He was he was a he was an icon levy. He's an icon. He's an icon. That's the other thing. Like uh I like Virgil Abloh. I kind of realized I realized but it's just you know, with like the greats, with the big artists, there's really no point in speaking about them in the past tense. Like, there's really no point. Like, they're still there, especially when you just think or want to listen to whatever song they had left and it was your favorite or want to wear whatever piece you find, ex you know, just is your, is your, that's your, you know, favorite top, whatever. They're still there. So it's just... I like Virgil. I fuck with Virgil Abloh. Salute to Virgil. Yeah, man. I think yeah. That, I think that was well said. Very well said, especially with him uh, still being there, man. Because, you know, with what he created out in the world, it's forever there for the world. So that's something we should cherish, man. Well, it's not forever there, though. Because you got to remember, at the end of all this, man, it, it's just... Everybody goes. Not to get morbid. Got it. And I don't want you to think too much about your own existence, but real shit. I mean, after everything that you know knows something, all of that even will be dust in the wind. Which is to stay which is to say one day th even even this entire, you know, planet will be just wiped off. Damn. Isn't that just crazy to think about? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy to think about, but I thought it's all one way, man. Yeah, man, that, that's yeah, that's that's one way to to take it. It's all going one way, one direction. Anyways, uh, 